will copy, highlight through my color corrector, push Command C, go to Clip 24, Command V. Okay, I'm going to bring the mid orange up slightly, bring the dark part of the input level to 4.8, and the middle part of the input level I'm going to bring to the left a little bit to 0.9. Let's toggle that off and on. Actually, you know what? Let's leave the input level middle part at 1. We'll copy, go to clip 25. We saw a similar clip to this earlier back at clip 8 and 10. So let's scroll to the left on the timeline. There's clip 10. Highlight clip 10. Click on three-way color corrector in the effect control. Push Command C. Scroll back over to clip 25. As you can see, when effects are added to clips, the little effects square on the clip turns to purple. That's how I easily knew we were working on clip 25 because it doesn't have an effect on it yet. So I've highlighted it. I'll push Command V. Okay, let's go to 26. 26 looks similar to clip 22. So let's highlight clip 22. Click on three-way color corrector, push Command C. Go back to 26, highlight that, and push Command V. Highlight 27, Command V. I'm not happy with that, so let's reset effects. We will bring the master saturation to 130. Let's bring the mid-tones slightly orange, very slightly. And we'll bring the input level, the dark side of the input level, into 9.5. Let's toggle that on and off. Okay, with the three-way on this clip, it looks more dynamic now, so we'll copy that. Go to clip 50. Paste, toggle it on and off. Hasn't really made a difference in this clip. Let's bring the input level, the dark side of the input level, back to the left. Let's bring the white in the output level to the left a little bit. So 237.9. We'll toggle on and off. Okay, that adds a little more dynamics to the clip. So let's copy that, go to 32. Paste. Bring the white and the output all the way back to the right. Okay, I like the way that looks. Let's copy the latest effect. Go to 28, highlight it, and paste. Go to 38, paste, 41, paste, 30, paste, 39, paste, okay, looking good so far, 37, paste, 40, paste, 29, paste. Now let's work on the dialogue parts. So we're at clip 12, we'll highlight that, paste, that actually looks pretty good, let's Scroll through to another part, toggle it off. I'm going to bring the mid input up to 1.2. Let's toggle it on and off again. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'll highlight three-way color corrector, push Command C to copy that. Let's scroll over to 42, highlight it, push Command V. Let's bring the input level, the mids, down to 1. Okay, I like that, so we're going to copy that. Scroll over to 36, highlight 36, Command V. We'll scroll down. Let's bring the input levels, the middle white to 1. Let's bring the dark part of the input levels to 6.7. Now let's bring the mid up to 1.1. Toggle it off and on. Okay, for now, we'll keep the three-way color corrector like that, copy this latest effect, and now we've gone to 44. Okay, for clip 44, 
the white balance is off. As you can see, it's outdoor. It was shot outdoors, but it looks like the white balance was set to tungsten white balance. So it was probably set to around 3200 Kelvin, but shot outside in 5600 Kelvin lighting. You can tell because the host skin tones are very blue, everything looks very blue. So let's highlight it and I'll push Command V for three-way color corrector. We'll just reset this effect. Scroll down, let's bring the mid-tones oranger. Okay, so I've brought the mid-tones all the way as orange as it can go. And it looks funny, right? It doesn't look natural. She looks weird. Let's add orange in the shadow and orange in the highlights. It just, it looks weird. This is where I'm going to use Lumetri. It has heavier processing power, but it does a much better job of correcting white balance. So let's click on three-way color corrector, push delete on the keyboard, go up to windows, scroll down to Lumetri color and click on it. Okay, it has opened up for me in my work setting another panel. So let's drag this over. As you can see here, we've got the temperature. Okay, let's drag the temperature over to the right all the way, 100%. Okay, that looks unnatural as well. So let's, we'll stay at 60.9 for now. As you can see here, I'm just gonna drag the Lumetri panel over. The effect has been added in the effects control. So let's toggle it off. You can see how much bluer it is with it off. We'll toggle it back on. That's better. We'll do a few more adjustments with the Lumetri color and then we'll continue on our edit and come back to it because sometimes when you're editing and you're looking at a screen for a long time, your eyes start to get used to the coloring. So we wanna make sure this looks good and that's why it's good to rest your eyes, look at something else and then come back to it. So we'll work on it a bit more for now. Let's bring the exposure up to 0.2. We'll bring the whites up to 10.5. Let's also click on curves and we'll click on the blue circle of curves and let's drag this blue line down a little bit. We're dragging it down because it's still too blue. So by dragging it down a little bit, it's taking the blue out of the clip. As I drag it more, you can see the blue's really taken out and it's leaving the colors of green in the clip. You can also turn on individual aspects of Lumetri by clicking this check mark. Now you can see that effect's back on. So I've moved the blue curve slightly to the right. Let's turn it off, turn it back on. Okay, let's click on basic color correction. Let's move the blacks up to 20.3. Move the saturation to 115. We'll go over to the effects control panel, toggle the effect off, toggle the effect on. Okay, so it looks much better now. Let's hit this drop down arrow to bring Lumetri color up so we can't see any of the options that we we're previously using. Let's go into the effects and let's type in contrast and we'll bring the brightness and contrast effect over into the effects panel where it says contrast let's type in 10. so can you see the contrast that's been added to elements of this clip i'll just toggle the effect off and on it's a little too contrasty for me i'm going to bring it down to seven toggle it off toggle it on as we continue working on the final details of this edit and our eyes look away from this particular clip and then come back to it, we might change this clip a little bit more, but overall right now I'm happy with it. In the next lesson, we are gonna put a few more effects on certain clips that are shaky. We're gonna change the direction of some clips and I can't wait for you to learn it. This really helps tell the story of your edit and we will look at this more and learn how to do it in the next lesson.